Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. If today is your first time of stopping by, you are highly welcome. Hello, <laughs> my name is Informa. On this channel, I do hairstyle for kids and I do a lot of beauty DIYs. So please consider hitting that subscribe button down below so we can be family, okay? So guys, in today's video, we are going to be making turmeric, lightning body soap, body wash, and body scrub. And to do that, the ingredients we are going to be using are the common things we can get in our kitchen. You don't need to rob a bank before you can do that, okay guys? So without much talk, let's get into the kitchen. Let me show you guys the ingredients you will be needing to make your own turmeric, lightning body soap lightning body wash and lightning body scrub okay guys let's get started then so let me quickly introduce you guys to the ingredients we'll be using in making the turmeric body wash body soap and body scrub here i have two soap tablets and here i also have plain soap base and this is what it looks like this is what it looks like but i won't be using it i'll be using the two soaps you're seeing there you can also use dove soap or any soap of your choice okay and also we'll be using fresh turmeric root that's what we'll be using for this you can also use the powder one okay guys here i'll be using lemon also then the next one here is honey and also we'll be using coconut oil and another one here is aloe vera gel then we also have vitamin E this is optional but if you can lay your hands on it it's very good okay add it also we'll be using rose water then here we also have sugar. We'll be using sugar to make the body scrub. So now we'll proceed to preparing the turmeric. So now I'll go ahead and start peeling the turmeric. Wear hand gloves while doing this because turmeric can stain your hands. Okay, and also use a breakable plate to do this, okay guys, so that you can be able to wash the stains off. If you use a rubber plate, it will be so difficult for you to wash off the stains, okay? And bear it in mind, the stain doesn't stay permanently. So if you find it difficult to wash off the stain after doing this, don't worry, okay? The stain will go out gradually, alright? So there's nothing to worry about. So as I'm peeling the turmeric, I'll be adding some into the blender, then I'll be reserving some because I won't be blending all of them together. Now the ones in my hand, I will reserve them, I will use them later. Then in the, the one in the blender, I will add warm water to it and blend it until smooth. Turmeric is so good to the skin guys, yes, because turmeric is loaded with antioxidants and the anti-inflammatory components which helps to treat number of skin problems such as acne, acne scars and pigmentations. And turmeric is able to do all those wonders because of the presence of curcumin, an active component which helps to provide glow and luster to the skin. Yes guys, so if you continue to use um, turmeric on your skin for, for some period, you will start having clear, glowing and healthy skin. So now I'm done blending it, the next thing to do here is that I'll go ahead and get my plates and the sieve. But here I won't be using sieve, I'll be using this chiffon cloth. Then I'll place the chiffon cloth on top of the plate. Then I'll go ahead and pour in the turmeric juice into the chiffon cloth. So 
So now I will use warm water to rinse the blender. So now I'm done extracting the turmeric juice. I will set the one in the plate aside. And the fiber I got from the turmeric, I will add it into a plate. Because we will be using it later guys. So now I will set the turmeric fiber aside. Then we will move over to the next stage, which is prepping our soap base. And to do that, you get a grater. Then you start grating the soap. If you don't want to use a grater, you can use knife and cut it into smaller pieces. And the purpose of grating it is to make the soap to be in a smaller pieces, like to be in a in a flakes-like form, so that it will be easy for it to melt once you start cooking the soap. Okay. If you don't cut it into smaller pieces or if you don't grate the soap, it will be difficult for it to melt. So that's why this stage is necessary. So now I'm done grating the soap and this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, it's now in a flakes-like form. So I'll go ahead and divide it into two. The one in the bowl, we'll be using it to make our body wash. Then we'll reserve the one in the plate. We'll use it later to make the body soap. So after dividing it, we'll move over to the next stage, which is making the body wash. And to do that in a pot, you add water into a pot and allow the water to boil. Then you place your bowl on top of the pot. Please make sure the bowl you'll be using is a heat resistant bowl, okay? If not, once you place the bowl on top of the pot and it starts cooking, along the line the bowl will break. That is if it is not a heat resistant bowl, okay? So after that, I'll go ahead and pour in the turmeric juice. Remember, we are making body wash. And to do that, make sure you put you pour in a lot of water, okay? Because we are making body wash. If you don't add enough of water, once the soap cools down, the, the body wash will solidify. Like, it will be in a pap-like form. Therefore, it will be difficult for it to come out of the, the soap pump. So that's why it's necessary that you add enough water so that once it cools down, it will still be in a liquid form, okay? Now I'll go ahead and cut this lemon into two. I will add half of it. So I'm adding lemon because lemon juice helps to lighten your skin. And this is due to the high concentration of vitamin C in it, okay? Also, lemon can be used to treat acne damage, dark spots, freckles, and other forms of hyperpigmentation. The vitamin C in lemon helps to lighten your skin by reducing melanin. So that's why it's good to add lemon to this recipe, okay? Then after that, I'll go ahead and add some drops of honey. So after adding the honey, I'll go ahead and give it a mix. So 
So I will continue to mix it until all the soap flakes are well dissolved. So now everything has dissolved, I would go ahead and take it off the cooker. So we move over to the next stage and this stage is very necessary. Get a cup or a plate, place a sieve on top of it. So after placing the sieve on top of the cup, I will go ahead and pour in the body wash into the sieve. This stage is necessary. This is to help me get rid of any soap lumps. So once that is done, I will set the soap wash aside and allow it to cool down before adding it into the container. Now we will move over to the next stage, which is making the body scrub. And to do that, we'll get the turmeric fiber we got from sieving the turmeric juice. Now I'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of aloe vera gel. Then after that, I'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of rose water. Then the next thing to add is vitamin E. I'll go ahead and add some drops of vitamin E. Then after that, I will give it a mix. Mix it very well. Once that is done, I'll go ahead and add some drops of honey. Then after that, I'll add one cup of sugar. Sugar is what makes it the body scrub, okay? Then after that, I'll give it a mix. After mixing it, the body scrub is ready. Now, um, after mixing it, you can go ahead and use it to scrub your face, scrub your body as to get rid of any dead cell. Now, I'll go ahead and add it into the container. This body scrub, I will use it for three days and after three days, I will throw the rest away because I didn't add any preservative. So we we'll move over to making the soap tablet and to do that we get the turmeric that we kept aside after peeling all the turmerics. You remember the one we kept aside, now it's time to use it, I'll go ahead and add it into the blender. Then after that I'll go ahead and get my lemon. I will use my grater to, to scrape off the skin of the lemon. Then once that is done, I will add the lemon into the blender. That's the lemon skin I scraped off, I will add it into the blender. Then I will go ahead and add warm water to it. Then after that, I will cover it and blend it until smooth. So after blending it, we'll move over to making the soap tablet. And to do that, in a pot, you add water, allow the water to boil, then you place a bowl on top of the pot. So now I'll go ahead and add the remaining soap flakes. Then after that, I'll go ahead and add the turmeric and the lemon peel I just blended. Also, I'll go ahead and rinse the blender with a warm water. Once that is done, I'll go ahead and add some drops of vitamin E. Then I'll 
Then after that, I'll go ahead and squeeze in lemon juice. Then after that, I'll go ahead and add coconut oil. Adding coconut oil is very important. That's if you have a dry skin, okay? If you don't have a dry skin, you can decide to skip adding coconut oil. After that, I'll add some drops of honey. Now I'll go ahead and add lavender essential oil. You can add any, any essential oil of your choice. Then after adding everything, I'll go ahead and mix it. So you continue to mix it until all the soap flakes dissolve. So now everything has dissolved, I will take it off the cooker. Once that is done, I will go ahead and pour in the soap into a soap mold. And you have to do this while the soap is still hot. So after adding the soap into a soap mold, you let it to cool down so it can solidify, okay? Now we'll move over to the soap body wash. Here I have my body wash, it has cooled down. And this is what it looks like after cooling down. Did you see it's still in a liquid form because I added enough water. Now I can go ahead and add it into the soap container. So please make sure all the containers you will be using are well sterilized, okay? To avoid contaminating the soap with bacteria. And to do that, add all the containers you will be using into a pot. Add water to the pot, add salt, and bring the water to boil for about 10 minutes. And after that, you bring out all the containers and allow them to dry before using it, okay guys? So this is it, our body wash is ready. Did you see? It still lathers very well. Remember, I did not add any cosmetic preservative to it because I used a ready-made soap as my soap base. So, I don't, there's no need for me to add a preservative anymore because I believe the ready-made soap I used already contains a preservative. Okay, guys? So, this is the soap tablet after cooling down. And it still lathers very well also. It's still in a solid form after cooling down because I did not add a lot of water while making it, okay? So guys, that's it. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so, okay guys? Please subscribe, I'm begging, okay? So that's it, guys. Um, the soap tablet is ready, the body scrub is also ready, and our body wash is ready, guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!